we have the tripod so this tripod makes balancing so much easier all you have to do is attach it to the gimbal and then we have the charging cable we have type c charging cable for charging the gimbal This is the gimbal. The first thing to do before I switch on the gimbal, I'm going to attach my phone. And I'm going to be using an Android phone. I'm going to be using a Redmi Note 8. Well, since this gimbal supports both Android and iPhone. After attaching the phone, make sure to push the phone towards the gimbal. This gimbal comes with an extension arm with a knob at the back. So I'm going to use this knob to adjust so that my phone can balance. So what I'm going to do first is to unlock this node and then pull this arm like this after pulling the arm you realize that the phone is balancing and then i will lock the node so that the phone is stable so now i'm going to power the gimbal and also connect it to the phone bluetooth after balancing the phone, next I'm going to connect the phone ZUN app to the gimbal. And then before that, I'm going to fast power on the gimbal by pressing the power button for a few seconds. You connect it to the app. You have to make sure you download the app. So now I'm going to connect the ZUN play app to the gimbal. I already downloaded the app, so I'll open the app. So on this app, it's I'm required to connect now, so I'll press the connect now button, which is okay. This, depending on the one that you want to connect. If you click here, you'll find out that there are several gimbals. So now I want to connect to the smooth four gimbal. Connect your search the gimbal. Connect. Enter now. So once the phone is connected to the gimbal, this is the user interface. And on the screen, we have different icons or different features. And the first feature is the home button. And then we have a Bluetooth button, which is blue because it is now connected. The phone is connected to the gimbal. And then we have the flash icon, the timer, and the HDR. And then on the tip, top right, we have the batteries for both the phone and the gimbal and then on the bottom left we have the media app and the object tracking and at the bottom right we have filters once the phone is connected to the gimbal you cannot control any of the features on the phone screen by clicking on on it it's the only three features that will function if you click on them and that is the file library the home button and the tracking which is not a problem since you can control the rest of the features using the control features on the gimbal to select any feature click the home button 
and it displays different features of the camera. So to select any feature, you can click on the center button with a flash icon. So to select any features on the screen and to go back one step, we press the menu button once. And then we have the display button, which displays the different camera numbers on the screen. Then we have the wheel. It is multifunctional and it's used to navigate between the different options by turning it either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Uh, and it has different buttons as well. We have the top button, the bottom button, the right and the left button. The right button of the wheel is used to display exposure. So, uh, you can use the wheel to change the exposure of the camera. this or the left button is used to choose between the front and the back camera the top button of the wheel it displays the different resolutions of the video recordings of the phone and then lastly we have the bottom button the bottom button is used the bottom button is used to display the pictures and the videos in the app Then we have a big wheel on the side of the gimbal. It can be used to zoom in and out of the scene. If you press the target button, that wheel can be used to change the focus of the scene. To take pictures, we press the camera button and to record videos, we press the recording button. 